What's going on everybody? John Bear Gaming coming at you today with another Battle Royale video. We are sitting at 3-0 with this Battle Royale squad. We're playing pretty good and I think this is a pretty good team. Could this be the team that goes all the way? We'll have to see. But right now we're 3-0. We're looking to go 4-0. Let's go over that squad one more time. Alright, leading off we got the 95 overall Danny Santana, Anthony Rendon, Glaber Torres, the gold. The 99 Rendon is the finest card. Corey Seager, 80 overall, batting fourth. Among Oriano in center field, batting fifth. Cole Calhoun, Travis Darno, player of the month card, and Tommy Edmond round out the lineup. The bench looks like Eric Sogard, Ryan Braun, Jairo Munoz, Michael Taylor, and D. Gordon. In the bullpen, we've got Adam Simber, Lou Trevino, Tim Hill, Sam Freeman, Tyler Lyons, Brandon Morrow, and Chad Green. So far, Brandon Morrow and Tim Hill have both been the heroes of this run in the bullpen. They've both done exceptional jobs. Hopefully they can keep it up for at least a few more games. If you guys want to see how I got to 3-0, make sure to go check out my previous videos. We've got a draft, and then we've got two other games in there. Make sure to go check it out, guys. I would really appreciate it. But anyway, guys, we are currently at 3-0. I've said that enough. Let's go play a game. All right, we are ready to go. We are playing goalie 035, the Savannah Bananas. I don't think that's going to be Healy. At least I hope not. He's got Daniel Vogelbach, Austin Riley, Ted Williams, Pedro Severino, Austin Meadows, Jorge Soler, Ben Zobrist, and Adalberto Mondesi in the lineup. It looks like he's probably got two golds in the bullpen. So, interesting team. This can be a pretty good game here. Our opponent is 104 and 21. Oof. Man, we're going to be facing a goon here. Vogelbach's going to fly that into deep center field, but. Loriano is going to get under that camp under it and make out number one good start all right we went to tim hill out of the bullpen our opponent does hit a little bit better or not necessarily our opponent but austin rally hits a little bit better against righties that ball smoked in the center field loriano has got decent speed and he's gonna track that down nice play by ramon Loriano. got a really good jump and we got the out it's gonna be grounded to the shortstop we're gonna get ourselves a 1-2-3 inning. About as good of a start as we could hope for against an opponent of this caliber. Great start for the squad. Danny Santana's going to fly that into center field. We got underneath it just a tad. That's on us, man. We got to hit a little bit better in order to win these games. Our opponent did bring in the gold, Lee Smith. Pretty good pitcher out of the pen here in BR. Rendon's going to fly that into left field, and that is going to get down in front of Ted Williams. That's going to be a base hit. Oh, that ball was smoked, but it's going to be foul. Foul ball home run, not what we want to see here. We want something fair and gone. Up the middle, that's going to be a base hit for Glaber Torres. All right, in the last episode, we saw Corey Seager turn back the clock. He thought it was MLB 17 where he was OP. Let's see if he can do that here. That ball is crushed in the left field. And Ted Williams is going to make the play. We're going to try to go to third, and we're going to be in there safely. Actually pretty glad that we are able to tag up on that play. Nice job. Nice set by Seager, but it's going to be a line out. That ball is absolutely demolished by Ramon Laureano. This card is an absolute glitch as well. I don't know what it is, but he's going to put us on the board. Three to nothing with a clutch two out home run here in the first. Cole Calhoun with the deep drive in the right field. That one's going to get out as well. Let's go. We get off to a 4-0 lead. That is exactly what we want against an opponent of this caliber. That ball's crushed in the left field. That's going to be back. Two back. Two back home runs. Here in the first with two outs, it is 5 to nothing. And he's going to fly that into right field. I'm not sure who he's got there, but he's going to get there and make the play on the run. What an inning for the team. 5 to nothing. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but that's good enough for me right now. 0-2, or excuse me, 1-2 count here for Pedro Severino. Nice slider, and he swings and misses at it. Let's go. Nice pitch from Morrow. That ball is crushed in the right field, and that is going to get him on the board as that ball hits the very top of the wall and leaves. Nice hit by my opponent. That one's popped up to the first baseman. That's going to be a nice out. We needed that out. That was a big one after he went deep there. Ben Zobris with a drive in the left field. Tommy Edmond on the run, and he makes the play in left. Nice job by Tommy Edmond. I'm glad I put him there so far in left field. 
Ryan Braun's going to fly that into left field. We got a little bit jammed on it, but that's going to be out number one. We used Ryan Braun off the bench to pinch hit for Brandon Morrow. Danny Santana's going to fly that into right field. That looks like it's going to be warning track power, and he's going to make the play in right field. Nice play by Solaire. We're out number two. I'd like to get one or two insurance runs here before we go to the uh, top of the third inning, but it's looking a little bit bleak as far as insurance goes. That ball's hit high, deep in the right center field, and Tony Fourbags is going to hit a home run. He's going to get us one insurance run back. It is now 6-1. to one. Glaber Torres, that's going to be another base hit for Glaber right up the middle. That is almost the second time in a row he's taking the pitcher's head off. Two really good at-bats from Glaber here. Corey Seager rips that one to first base, but he's going to make the play. All right, we get another run back. It is 6-1. to one. We got to shut him down. Brought in Chad Green. Mondesi is going to fly that into center field. Loriano is going to make the play. I don't know why he was jogging. That's going to be out number one. Two outs away from victory here. That one's going to be stung into the gap. And it looks like Jed Lowry is going to get on base with extra bases. That's going to be a double. Good slider. We got him to swing and miss at it. Nice pitch by Chad Green. One out away. That one's flied into center field. And Ramon Loriano is going to make the play. And that's going to be our fourth win in this run. Let's go. What a game from the team. Anthony Rendon is going to win player of the game. He does have a home run as well as another hit. But in my opinion, I think the player of the game is probably Laureano. He hit that game winning three run homer in the first inning. Great job by the squad. Let's get on to our fifth game here. All right. We are ready for our fifth game. We are playing ball boy 214, the New York Flaming Goats. He's got Schwarber, Sanchez, Griffey, Escobar, Kike Hernandez, Ender Inciarte, Freddy Galvis, and CJ Krohn. And he's pitching Alex Young. That's a pretty good one through five. It starts to kind of, you know, even out a little bit. I don't want to talk mad about Freddy Galvis, but he's got a pretty decent lineup, but we got to come out and win this game here. Our opponent is 139 and 101. Quite a big difference between the last two records that we played, but... Don't matter. We can't underestimate anybody in Battle Royale. That's the big key to this. And very unfortunately, we've got this guy on the mound, Daniel Mengden. One of the longest releases in this game, but he's going to line out on the first pitch to the first baseman. You'll love to see that. I'm going to risk it here. I'm going to go with Tim Hill out of the bullpen. He's got a bit of a funky motion, and I think that's throwing a lot of players off. That is two up, two down on two straight pitches here in the first inning. Griffey is going to smoke that into deep right field. And that one's going to leave the yard. Not a bad pitch, but a better swing by our opponent. Got to give him credit on that. He was early on it, but that was a great swing. One to nothing for the bad guys. That's going to be grounded to the shortstop. Corey Seager gobbles it up and whips it over to first base for out number three. Our opponent does get one run. That just means we got to hit. And we swing and a miss at a ball. That one's going to get away from Sanchez. And he is going to be safe at first base. We catch a really big break there. So we're going to have to try to take advantage of it. I feel kind of guilty. Rendon with the deep fly ball in the center field. And that's going to be almost warning track power. That's going to be a right to Griffey for out number one. It's going to be hit to the third baseman. We did send the runner on that. We were quite a bit early on that pitch, though, and that made a big difference. But we did get that runner to second base. Let's see if Corey Singer, excuse me, let's see if Corey Seager can drive him in. That is not a bad swing. We got underneath it by just a tag. Griffey's going to make that play on the track. Nice play. All right, we did go to Brandon Morrow. This guy's hitting the ball pretty hard here in that first inning, and. He's going to hit it hard again because we throw it right down the middle. Oriano on his horse, and he's going to make that play. He has been really clutch for us out there in center field. And Ciarte is going to fly that into right field. That's going to be easy play for Cole Calhoun. We're out number two. Two pitches, two outs. This guy is very aggressive at the plate. That brings in Freddie Galvis. Shout out to our man, Kyle23. All right, our opponent's taking some pretty good pitches here. Three and two count. Can't be too good of a pitch here. That ball is smoked in the right field, and Calhoun's going to make a nice play. This guy's hitting a lot of line drives. He's getting a little bit unlucky, especially there with Galvis. Bottom of the second, let's go hit. All right, 
In comes Ramon Laureano. He has been pretty clutch throughout this run. And he's going to get a base hit in the right field, and he's going to continue his clutch hitting. Nice job by Laureano. Fantastic pitch, man. That was a great pitch on the outside corner. That's going to be a strikeout. Now we need Travis Darno, who's been pretty good for us. And that's going to be grounded a third. And he's going to have a little bit of trouble with it, and he's, we're going to be safe. That is a second inning in a row that we got lucky. We're going to have to take advantage of it. We didn't do it in the first inning. We got to do it here. And that's going to be grounded to the first baseman. And that's going to be a double play. We did hit that ball kind of hard, but we hit it right at somebody. Just some bad luck. CJ Crone's going to pop that up to the second baseman. That's going to be out number one. Nice play by Torres. It's going to be grounded to the shortstop. Easy play for Seeker. Out number two. Ball is hit into left field. Tommy Edmonds going to get under that. And that's going to be out number three. All right, time to get to the bottom of the third inning. We got to come back and walk this bad boy off. Unfortunately, he brought in a hell of a card in this 96 Raleigh Fingers. We're going to have to do some damage against one of the best in the game. Brought in Eric Sogard, lefty against the righty. Let's see if he can do something good here. And he just misses that pitch. I don't feel like I missed it by all that much, to be honest with you. And that's going to be caught on the warning track. Oh, man. And we just missed that pitch, too. Just missed it. Santana in the left field, and that's going to be a nice play by the left fielder. We are down to our last out, and it's going to be Tony for bags. That's what I'm asking for you, Tony. Four bags here. And that's going to be lined in the right field for out number three. And we can't get it done. Nice game by our opponent. He hit that just early home run off of Tim Hill. And that's a bit unfortunate. We couldn't get that job done. Man, nice game by our opponent, but there's not much we can do about that. That sucks. All right, guys. Unfortunately, that's going to do it for this run. We get this run stopped at 4-1. and one. We had to play better in that last game, and we didn't do it. We had to save some of those runs from game four and then add them to game five. And that would have been perfect, but it is what it is. We can't really do that. Unfortunately, that's going to be the end of this run. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Keep an eye out for another BR draft since we did fail in this one. So keep your eyes open for that. Make sure to go follow me on Twitch. I'm going to drop a link to my Twitch in the description below. Come hang out with me on there. It's a good time. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure if you did, smash that like button. I would really appreciate it. And subscribe as well if you guys are enjoying the content. Anyway, guys, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys had a good time, and I will see you later.